Hey guys, it's Miss T. Lovely. I'm coming at you with day three of Black Diva 26's Diva Challenge. Now before I define what I believe the word V to mean, I want to get right into my my word of encouragement. Um, I want to talk to my ladies today, and I actually have made a video about this, but I want to make sure I say suited and booted, so we know that it was on the same day. <laughs> um, we'll talk about hate between females. And I want to talk about this because it was actually presented to me, and coincidentally, I got a little bit of hate of hate myself. Now, y'all know me. I know I'll shed some light on something when I feel there's a purpose behind it. Otherwise, I won't give it any light. You know, I find it hard um, to accept or even stomach when other women hate on each other because you don't know what that woman's going through. You don't know what that woman's been through. And like my grandma used to say, if you walk a mile in my moccasins, I, you better believe you'd be ready to kick them off. You know, life isn't easy. And even those of us who sit behind these cameras are going through some things and we go through things. And, you know, the fact of the matter is, is I, I as a woman, I'm not, like I said in my other video, I'm not trying to start a movement. But I feel like because women are the comforters, we are the caretakers. We are the birthers. We should be the ones to teach our children, our, our young ladies, how to be loving, how to receive and love, love on those who are of our same sex. You know, I say it all the time. I think I've said it a few times in my videos. I just don't understand why we can't be resilient as we were as children. You know, as kids, you can get into a fight over a mud pie and be good within a few minutes. But as adults, we hold on to things for so very long. A woman can be mad at another woman for 20, 30 some odd years. I had two grandmothers who fought until they passed away, never had a relationship. So my message to you guys today is each one teach one. Know that you have the ability to make or break someone's day. Whether it is cracking a smile and just saying hello. Or bless you when they sneeze. Or that's a beautiful outfit. Because some people hide behind their clothes. Some people are not as happy as they seem, you guys. Some people will put on the whole makeup, the hair, the... Sometimes it's a suit and it's a facade to keep people fooled and keep people away or 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 whatever the case may be you, you get what I'm saying so don't be intimidated by another woman give her a compliment you know um, if you see something in her that you want realize that there's something in you that anybody Nobody else has. Like I said in my other video, you are uniquely and wonderfully made. There was only one you. Only one. Now granted, you might have shortcomings. We all do. But just know that that woman that you assume to be perfect may not have the best life. And one thing I've learned and I'm still learning is to compete, to be content with all things that God has given me in this life. Am I a size 10? No, not in the least. Do I have perfect skin? No, not in the least. Is my hair long and flowy and perfect? Well, yeah, right now it is because not mine. But, <laughs> you know, gotta put a joke in here. But seriously, no one's perfect, but we can start a perfect movement by loving each other. So what the word V in Diva means for me is a vivacious woman, someone who is full of life, someone who has a great spirit. That's what it means to me. Stone. You came with wide-eyed wonder and 
to all this great But certainly not least, what does this outfit mean for me? Why does it make me feel like a diva? It makes me feel like a diva because this is the first time I've worn this blouse in about 10 years. And I can fit it, I can pull it over me. That makes me feel good. That makes me want to jump through the roof. It don't get no better than that. And that's why it makes me feel like a diva. I love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow with the last letter A. And I'll be coming at you guys with something different the following days. I love you. Love you. Mwah.